Hey, what's up streamers, YouTubers, creators, everybody who's trying to make it for a living, making content online. How you doing? Andrew Wall here. I'm here to help. This is the second episode of Ask a YouTube Expert. The first one went really well. I want to thank M&J Pokovitz for asking me a question on Twitter. Ended up making a video just for him about YouTube subscribers and his content strategy. And he really appreciated it and he's taking it into consideration. So I'm glad that you found that valuable. Hopefully you can move from that 8 to 9 million views per month range you're in. Right now up to the 10 and 11 million views per month. Uh, range. I think if you take my advice, you'll get there. So go crush it, man. I'm really happy for you and all of your success. So in the last episode, um, I got some more questions from some more rather large YouTubers. And as I kind of scrolled down here, uh, there was a react. Uh, there was a question here from Crafting Vegito. By the way, you can ask me questions on YouTube, guys. I really prefer it on Twitter. It's way easier for me to respond and to log those questions. But I'm going to answer this one because Crafting Vegito is a really original and just like crazy channel self-proclaimed most cancerous youtuber ever i think is his tagline all right here's the question if you're in a situation where you have multiple types of content but only one or two generate views what's the best course of action i believe that's the case in my case so this video is going to be all about content strategy creative strategy programming strategy because i think that that's what uh crafting vegeto is asking about and the type of advice that they need right now to take it to the next level all of this takes the algorithm and all the algorithms into account, but in this case, sometimes you just have to make better content uh, or make changes to your content strategy because ultimately the algorithm is designed to chase audience. That's what the YouTube search and discovery team says on a regular basis, and in this case, uh, I have advice for crafting Vegito that will make that happen. And so I asked, what are your top performing content? I can't see all of your stats, right? I can only see what TubeBuddy, uh, this extension here, uh, will give me, or Social Blade will give me, or just eyeballing it. By the way, if you guys want TubeBuddy extension, I've got a link in the description below. It's an affiliate link. If you guys download enough uh, copies of it, I get it for free. So that would be awesome for me, not to have to pay for a TubeBuddy. That would be great. Download with my affiliate link. Ting. Regardless, their top performing series are Try Not To Laugh and Vegito Reacts To X. Cool. Let's take a look at their channel. Before we do anything, let's take a look at the numbers. First things first, what are those Social Blade stats? So this channel's doing really, really well at 6.6 thousand subscribers gained every month. Good job, man. 1.3 million uh, views per month really nicely done that's great but how does that compare to the lifetime of the channel this is really important to look at and overall in the average month for this channel was 607k historically more than double that now so overall it's an upward trend this isn't a dying channel by any means and an average views per video of 39k with 836 videos crafting vegeto is a grinder this YouTuber grinds, grinds, grinds to get where they are today. New YouTubers take notice. 836 videos to get here today. It takes time and effort. Good job. So let's take a look at your different content formats because I think that if we can tweak these a bit, you will take the heck off because you are so original. So the, so the audience can kind of understand what we're looking at here. There's these try not to laugh challenges here uh, where basically he watches uh, videos or image content, primarily videos. It's a voiceover of him not trying not to laugh to the, at these various ridiculous anime related videos. Pretty much all the content on the channel is completely anime and a lot of it is very off color. Like as you can see, the zipper is going down here. It's very off color. These try not to laugh challenges are very funny. The audience loves them and they generate in this case, 25K views. This is a recent episode. Episode. There's also these Vegito Reacts uh, videos, which also generate 20k, 30k plus uh, in a relatively short amount of time. And these do very well, namely because it's Vegito himself reacting to things. People just want to see Vegito react to anything. That's why the channel is successful. Uh, or the, the examples of success tend to revolve around that. And so it's kind of the shared cultural phenomenon in anime, whether that's memes, whether that's videos, whether that's something that kind of everybody has seen as a group, and then he'll react to them. And it just kind of brings that culture from all around the internet to his channel. And he is very knowledgeable and loves these things. And that's the appeal of the content. Pretty simple stuff. However, there are two types of content on this channel 
that are just doing terribly. And this is just one example. I'm not trying to pick on you, man, but the, just kind of random stuff videos. I've made these before. This is like a random dehydration video. This type of stuff is the kind of content I've made personally where I thought it was hilarious when I was making it. Some people on my channel thought it was hilarious, but it only got 2.8K uh, views, and that's because this is bad for YouTube, right? This is a short clip, 24 seconds. It's not gonna get enough minutes watched. If you wanna continue to make this kind of content, Vegito, uh, crafting Vegito, go ahead and release it on socials exclusively, post it on Reddit, on Twitter, on whatever, on Instagram, what have you, uh, but don't release it on your YouTube channel. This is hurting your YouTube channel cut the random memesy weird videos off of your channel they are hurting your channel you're opening up sessions here people are not clicking them and then it's just hurting the rest of your uh content this other type of content here is let's play content this one in particular is very funny but very low views despite how funny it is it's an anime game where basically he's like the hottest boy in school essentially and all these anime girls are coming after him and he's trying to fight them off in vr so funny so funny look at the views though 4.4k views so if you want to do let's play on content on your channel moving forward um i recommend um not doing it on youtube but instead doing it on your twitch avenue and maybe doing extended streams there and um interacting with the audience and what have you there and make that more of a live experience rather than a vod experience like you have here this content is just not performing and let's go to the overall content strategy okay so that's an overview of the different types of content this youtuber makes so why do people tune in and it's because this guy is knowledgeable of anime of internet culture and has funny off-color reactions and a very unique personality that's the appeal of the channel when you make random memesy stuff there's no crafting vegeto here this is just random memesy stuff that could have been made by anybody it's off color like your sense of humor but it just isn't you. Kill it. Okay, the anime, the Let's Play content, it is you reacting to a video game in real time, but there's no shared understanding. There's no common meme. There's no cultural thing that you are reacting to that helps people, um, that helps bring people in the door for your content. And it's mostly just you going, ah, or laughing, or making random comments to these video games. That doesn't tap into your intelligence and your ability to be culturally relevant and clever. It's just reactionary, entirely reactionary. That's why this Let's Play content is not doing as well. It's not smart enough. Your content's actually pretty smart, despite how stupid it may appear on the surface level. So I would cut this Let's Play content and go live. So that leaves you with try not to laughs, and that leaves you with reacting to X. So where do you go from here? Are you gonna make entirely just that type of content? Here's what I think you should do. Step one, consider expanding the type of content you do on your channel overall beyond just anime culture to maybe expanding a little bit into a larger internet culture bubble. That will expand the appeal of your channel just a little bit. Try sprinkling in just mainstream memes. Try sprinkling in mainstream internet culture or happenings of different types into your channel you know which ones would be a little bit more relevant to anime test those add those in there try to broaden your appeal the more you can broaden the subject matter of the internet culture that you're covering on the channel the larger your channel can possibly become people are not subscribed to crafting vegeto because of anime they're subscribed to crafting vegeto because of crafting vegeto in his off color and can off color cancerous personality Okay, so let's take a look at the master of this. And I'm not telling you to be PewDiePie. I'm not telling you to be PewDiePie, but there's a reason why PewDiePie is the most successful. is because he is a master of creative and programming strategy. And his channel reminds me of kind of a format or a programming strategy that you could emulate. You don't have to be PewDiePie here, but you can emulate this. So what he's doing right now is meme review. So Meme Review is a series where he basically takes a look at uh, various memes that are on the internet, and these are the kind of the shared things that you're kind of doing, right? And so popular memes, he breaks them down. He clearly understands them, he clearly loves them, and his audience loves him for that. And he doesn't have to come up with original content, he just needs to come up with original thoughts or reactions or edits related to these memes. This format's working really well. You have something similar to this on your channel, kind of, 
with your try not to laugh videos, but I would consider doing a meme review type of format on your channel and include anime memes and maybe include some internet culture memes that are not directly anime. Try that out, it could work for you. And then he's also got these other formats, PewDiePie, Lil Y, and what have you. Last week I asked you. This is something that I think you could do. So PewDiePie's last week I asked you was, he'll call out his audience and he'll basically provide some sort of prompt for his audience to make different memes or what have you, or to make different things happen. And his audience is so large, they'll do it. And then he'll basically just pull up the things that his community did on the screen and react to them. And it's basically people making memes about him and he reacts to their memes about him. And it's very cyclical. Crafting Vegito. Just straight up rip this off of uh, PewDiePie. PewDiePie did not come up with this. He's just popularizing it right now. Your community is very, very, very engaged on your channel. Give them creative prompts to make memes about you or about anime or various things and then react to them on your channel. If you do that, they will love you for it. And it'll be, it'll strengthen the culture of your channel. Just straight up rip off this idea. This is not, uh, PewDiePie didn't come up with it. There's hundreds of channels that have done creative prompts for their audience and then reacting to them. Add that to your channel. That'll expand your slate of crafting Vegito reacts and creatively, it'll just make your channel take off. It'll make your socials blow up with even more engagement with just weird stuff that's gonna come out of your community. It's gonna become uh, a way to have a stream of new content coming into your channel that your audience gives you. Okay, and then the other part is YLYL, and basically you laugh, you lose, right? That's what that means. And so, you laugh, you lose is kind of like the try not to laugh challenge. PewDiePie is already doing this. Continue to do those. However, like I mentioned earlier, expand a little bit on your channel into internet culture and overall memesy culture, maybe just a few dank memes here and there, and see if you can expand it so your content can become even more culturally relevant. Cool? So cut the random shorts, cut the let's plays, and add more reactionary content. Re do one where you're reacting to your audience, do more uh, try not to laugh challenges, do more um, engaging with your community, and expand into more internet and memesy culture overall, and your channel will grow, I guarantee it. Give it about 60 days to test these creative ideas and to see what your audience thinks, and your views per month will probably go from 1 million per month up to three in a matter of, I'd say three to six months if you do this strategy. But you have to figure out what works for you and what's comfortable for you and what's comfortable for your community. Cool? I hope that helps. I'm telling you, these creative changes, it may be tough to kind of break outside of the mold. I'm not telling you go mainstream and copy PewDiePie, but there are certain things about his programming strategy that are just slam dunks and they work and your personality is super unique it will work for you i hope that helps ladies and gentlemen youtubers streamers creators ask me a question ask a youtube expert i've been doing this for a living for seven years i've built one of the biggest video networks in the world and i want to give you advice for free hit me up on twitter link below to my twitter account if you want to ask me a question i'm happy to make a video to help you out absolutely for free because I love it. All of you go crush it. Don't stop making videos. Don't get discouraged and be sure to subscribe to this channel and enable notifications to let me know that you want to see more content like this. If you give me a like and a comment, that also encourages me because my views are rather low right now because I haven't posted in a while. Do it. Subscribe, enable notifications. My name's Andrew Wall and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.